I don't really remember uh, first taking an interest in the tattooing. I've always like been around tattoos, but I never really had a strong interest in them. Um, like all my friends had them and stuff. So it was just kind of whatever to me. But uh, one, of the, one of the people that first tried to get me into tattooing was my father. Um, he really tried to push me into that direction with my art, because I didn't know what to do with my art at the time when I was you know, fresh out of high school, 18. Um, so he would take me to the shop with him, took me to the shop with him this one time, and uh, I was watching him get tattooed. You know, he had me talking to his friend, and uh, just kind of went from there, as far as like how the program worked and stuff, and from that point on, you know, watching him tattoo and stuff, I, had I thought I had convinced myself at that moment that that's something I didn't want to do, that I couldn't do. And that's what I told my father. And then uh, sometime later, I had some friends that, you know, I did art with, like graffiti or whatever. They started tattooing as well. And then I kind of was like, well, fuck, if they can do it, I can do it too. Um, so I was about 19 at the time. I got a mach tattoo machine and just started tattooing. I mainly specialize in like black and gray realistic tattoos, like portraits, uh, I do a lot of roses. They call me Alec Rodriguez because like uh, when I first started tattooing, uh, practicing, like I, I would just do a lot of skulls and roses, mainly just roses, so my last name is Rodriguez, so they started calling me Rodriguez. One of the biggest highlights of my career so far as a tattoo artist uh, is tattooing. My, my mentor asked me to tattoo him and that was like a big thing to me because you know these photos are very well-known artists and respected artists in the industry so for him to you know ask me to tattoo him I did a rose uh, that's a script on under his arm like in his armpit area um, you know that was a that was a big deal to me that was a big moment in my career. Um, Steve has definitely been like the biggest influence in my whole career, even before I met him. You know, he's uh, just a very well-known artist and respected artist in the industry. He's a very humble guy. Um, so it was, I'm so grateful to have, you know, gotten an apprenticeship under him and uh, gain his knowledge as far as tattooing and business and everything. Um, he's just really good dude, but I mean, I, I've came across so many other great influences you know, here at the shop, outside the shop, you know, Ivan Natali, Ryan Jenkins, Franco Viscovi, um, even Bobby from, he's the owner of Tribal Clothing. He's a really cool guy. Um, there's just so many. See myself, you know, maybe opening a private studio or something. Still just traveling the world and uh, hopefully influencing some other people, you know.